neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Washington will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 21. The Tar Heels right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. back to the tailback but he can't bring it in this quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free from their own 20 yard line third down he rifles it to the left that's incomplete can't ask for much more than a three and out great job defense that brings us fourth and eleven Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. To the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Throws in the middle, brought down at the 47. He's tackled in the open field, and a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He might not be able to get the pass off. He's taken down at the 12-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Is out to the tailback on the screen. And down he goes at the five. A seven yard pickup on the screen play. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it third and 15. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 17. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. To the end zone, touchdown. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 52-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score, 7-0 from his own goal line. 
And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Huskies are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws it out and off. He's hit hard for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. They go back to him on a quick throw. He's tackled at the 37. Taken down right around the 36-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. It's a smart job here by the coaches, making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. And they make the stop at about the 45. Ball in 34. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Washington is up seven. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. for a nice run. That's a gain of five on the That makes it 33. Oklahoma, Oklahoma! Once and all, going deep. And he's tackled right away. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0. Washington. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mike nine, Mike nine. He 
He makes it to the 18-yard line. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Washington is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. the catch and gets out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Throws out to the running back. No good. It's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 39. Great play by the defense. Well, that time they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with the sack. Roger, Roger. My 10. My 10, my 10. Let's pick it up. It's our time, guys. Our time. Let's get off the field. Now he's scrambling. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tries to get around the corner. He takes it in at the 14. He's taken down at the 25. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's hit and taken down. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Offense. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. Mike nine. Mike nine. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. He's at the 30, and they push him out at the 25-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Gets 
gets to about the 24-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 24-yard line, second down. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It has the distance, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 13 to nothing, Washington. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Room around the corner. And they finally knock him out at the 41. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Yeah, good throw into coverage, it looked like, and you're right. He seems well composed, very sure of himself on that play. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And down he goes at the 17. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Got a man, open, touchdown. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He splits the uprights with the extra point. North Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Washington with a six-point lead. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Man, oh, what a hit. The Huskies taking their first time out of the half. They'll give it off here. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 49-yard line. Third down. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. 
That'll bring up fourth and five. Trying to change the field position with his kick. North Carolina's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. You're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 12. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. The Huskies lead 13-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nestler and Herbstreet will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. we got a tight game here. He'll return it from the three. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Washington, up six. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and seven. Throws complete, he's got space to work. And he's taken down at the 47. Number seven brings him down at the 47 yard line. First down. They try running left. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Game seven on the left. That'll bring up second and three. Gets out to around the 32. Makes it out to about the 23. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. After a decent pickup. That makes it first and ten.
Gets it. He's in space. Tackle made right around the eight yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Washington is up by six. And he just gets rid of it. Tenth play of the drive. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. They'll bring him down at the two. That makes his third and goal. And the end zone touchdown. He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. And then you can just drill it in there. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got a man complete. He's hit hard. Incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He has some room. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. And he's finally shoved out at the 26. Super play, especially by everybody on that offensive line to create gaps. Let the runner burst through to pick up the first. And they make the stop at the 14. Converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. sure that touchdown of their last possessions given them some confidence but let's see if that carries them back down the field I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels they're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them and the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense 
So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's got the junior. Tackle at the 32. Washington with a six-point lead. He's to the 40. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. They come out on an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at about the 49. That'll make it second and four. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. That's a game between the six on the play. First down. Nine to Mike. Nine to Mike. Set. Blue 14. Throws and it's incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 23. going to try and scramble. Fumble. They fall on it. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. to the end zone. Doesn't get there. Washington up six. Kicks away. And it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. 23-14. Washington. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. And he's level at the 45-yard line. He makes his way to about the 42. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Three down and one to go. Washington's lead is nine. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. out to his wideout. And down he goes around the 21-yard line.
fires out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 10 yard line. receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. I think this is why the quarterback typically goes to this wide receiver, because his willingness to just sell out and make a catch. Here, it's a nice throw, but really it was more about the effort by the wide receiver to lay out and make that play for the touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Washington is up two. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's hit and taken down. They'll spread the field with five wide. hit immediately. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. And he's taken down at the 23. Five wide. And that one's incomplete. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. Washington with a two-point advantage. There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 16. to about the five. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. And his 
hands on it and dropped it. Number 16 was the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. That quickly to the tailback. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Less than three minutes in the game. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made at about the 47 yard line. Completely stopped immediately. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen, and he is drilled at the 49 yard line. three-yard line. It's second down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This is the ninth play of this drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. He zips one over to the right. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. Game, set, match. That interception's going to do it, partner. take their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes it to the 28-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. North Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Another give, and he's going to be wrestled down for a loss. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. Booming kick. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. 200 
under a minute left. And he stops the clock with a spike. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He sails it long. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Makes it out to about the 30. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. From the 30-yard line, second down. Quick throw. Touchdown, North Carolina. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. And he tacks on the extra point. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. The thing that stands out to me is the decision-making. When you can have a quarterback make these kind of decisions, deliver the ball quickly and accurately, you know you're going to have a great day offensively. He doesn't have to do too much else here. Just make sure they hang on to the football. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Hills have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive, but if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure.